When you're done with the games, you can call my phone. When you're done with the games, you can say hello. When you're done with the games, you can call my phone. When you're done with the games, you can call my phone. When you're done. So welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be learning how to use auto tune, how to tune your vocals with auto tune. So before we start, I'm going to play the vocal without the auto tune so that you can see what the auto tune is doing. And by the way, I've added some other effects. So I'm just going to mute all the effects so that you can hear the vocal in its natural state. When you're done with the games, you can call my phone. When you're done with the games, you can say hello. When you're done with the games, you can call my phone. So before you start using autotune, the first thing you have to do is, and all these things that I'm going to be saying now are applicable to every type of autotune plugin. So the first thing you have to do is find the key and the scale. So I normally do this by ear, but if you can't do it, the only thing you have to do is just go to a website called tunebat.com. So there are a lot of websites like this. In the website, you can just drag in the audio file and it will automatically generate the key and the scale for you and also the BPM. So after that, the next thing you're going to be looking at is the return speed and the humanize. So every auto tune plugin has the return speed and the humanize and also the key and the scale. These are the main and the most important knobs and settings in an auto tune for it to work properly. So the return speed is just basically how fast you want the auto tune to affect your vocal. So faster return speed means more auto tune and then slower return speed means less auto tune. So after that, the next thing you're going to be looking at is the humanize. The humanize allows sustained notes to have a slower return speed, which is less auto tune. And then for shorter notes to have a faster return speed, which is more auto tune. So this helps make your vocal less robotic and more humanized, hence the name humanized. So this here is just a pitch deviation to which is very important also. And then the natural vibrato helps tame your vibrato, the, the natural vibrato that comes from your voice. This is used to tame it. So apart from that, these two are the main settings that almost every auto tune plugin we always have a return speed and a humanize and also a key and a scale which is very important so i hope you got value from this lesson please subscribe and turn on notifications for more video and i'll see you in the next one bye